Porcupine meatballs, a budget recipe that's been around since or before the Great Depression. Yes, dollar-friendly, easy to make, freezable, and delicious. Let's make some up. So the first thing we're going to do is grab up a pound of lean ground beef, half a cup of rice, which adds that porcupine effect, and you don't use as much lean ground beef because it's a filler more or less. Three cloves of garlic. You know, I just have to have my garlic. Half a small chopped onion. You want this chopped fairly fine. Then half a cup of water to absorb and cook that rice. About a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. And as you know, I use a lot of this. Speaking of using a lot of something, about a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. A good teaspoon of salt. As always, totally personal preference. Another teaspoon of one of my all-time favorite seasoning, ground black pepper. Then we shall get down and dirty and mix everything together using our hands. And notice I'm using my professional blue gloves again. You don't have to, but I like them. And just look at this, guys. Those porcupine quills are coming out already. Next up, you want to grab about a handful of the mixture, you know, depending on how big you want your meatballs, and just roll them up until you get a nice little meatball, something like this. Then just set them aside in the casserole dish of your choice. And I do declare you should probably get about 20 meatballs out of this, you know, really depending on how big you roll them up. But don't these look good? Little porcupine eggs. But porcupines don't lay eggs. Next up our sauce, which consists of 15 ounces of tomato sauce, or two small cans, followed by a cup of water, another two or three teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce, two tablespoons of brown sugar just to sweeten up our lives. Then just grab up your spoon and mix everything together. All right, you probably guessed it by now. We're just going to pour that sauce over top of the meatballs. <laughs> And this is looking so good. And by the way, that sauce is really, really good, guys. I went ahead and give it a sneak taste. Then we are going into a 350 degree Fahrenheit preheated oven for about 50 to 60 minutes. After about an hour, our porcupine meatballs are done. And don't they look like porcupines? And just wait till we pour that sauce over the top. And just look at this, my friends, our porcupine meatballs bubbling and snubbling away in that sauce. And I bet you this meal is probably somewhere in the neighborhood of, oh, I'd say maybe 10, 12 bucks, something like that. And of course, we have to pretty this up with some freshly chopped parsley. Oh, wow. And there they be, guys, our budget-friendly porcupine meatballs. And you know, the funny thing is, I looked on YouTube and they do not rank very well. Not too many people make them, but maybe we can change that. We'll set a new trend. We'll be the porcupine meatball trenders. Sounds good to me. And you know, for limited ingredients, you bite into these. They are absolutely spectacular. The meatballs are just fantastic. And that sauce, that sauce is simply to die for. You're going to love these. They are a must make, guys. Like I say in every video, give us a like, and if you're so inclined, subscribe.